Hey, Critty. Check out my little shelter. Even I can make this. Stick around, guys. Hi, Create. This is Erin, and Josh will be with us in just a moment. Today, we're going to be reviewing a shelter from Friendly Sweet. It comes in this little paracord pouch, so we're working on taking that apart, and we're going to show you how we would assemble it if we were to use it. We'll be right back. Welcome back. So today we have an item from Friendly Swede and it is an emergency shelter sleeping bag. So while Aaron is taking apart all the paracord, I'm going to show you a little detail of what comes in the kit. First comes with the emergency blanket, comes with the carabiner, a little instruction manual that talks about all the items. On the other side has the whistle and a flint with a striker. Ooh, that one's not so loud. Oh, there we go. And a little bit of a little tender, a little dry tender that comes with it. We can't start a fire today because we're under a burn ban because it's beautiful weather out. But you've seen that in other videos. It also comes with a Ziploc bag. You put water in it. Whatever you need, whatever that's done. It also comes with a handsaw. And it also tells you in the instructions that you can make your own saw a bow saw. So we grabbed a couple sticks and we made one. This way you don't have to use your fingers sawing back and forth. You could just like a regular handsaw. So I got some already pre-dead wood. Don't want to hurt nature. Doesn't take a lot of force. It's back and forth. If you need to cut some firewood, or if you need to get some uh, wood for your shelter. Just like that. It makes a nice clean cut. And I didn't even use a lot of force. Very cool. I like that feature. Yeah. Got to make sure it's uh, the length, the, the, the right length. You don't want the actual saw to be too loose or you feel take a long time to cut through. Yeah, it needs to be pretty taut, but definitely doable. Go play music on it. This is the item out of the package, completely sealed up. You can hook this onto your bug out bag, your backpack. It is a little bit to take everything apart as far as the paracord. Maybe I would keep this attached to my bag but have other paracord for the shelter. So, it, yeah. Go ahead. There's a spot. <clears throat> so this is something you don't cut, okay? Um, up by where the flint striker whistle thingy is, you take one of one of the burnt edges and pry it apart and uh, actually it works better if once you get it popped out you take a sharp pocket knife and just um you know s pull the end off because it's melted and so it's made like this flat like the head of a nail um shape and it's really hard to pull through the paracord so once you get this piece right here loose you're gonna want to pull it out and just get the tip of it off and then it comes through a little easier as you unravel. And as you can see, I've been working on this for a little while. I will get it done. <laughs> All right, well, we'll be back in a moment and we will put together the shelter. All right, this is the emergency sleeping bag. And it can be used as a sleeping bag or as another form of shelter. And we chose to make another form of shelter. <laughs> Sasquatch! So, <laughs> this is 
our makeshift, don't really need it right now, shelter. Um, I still am not done unbraiding all of this paracord and my fingertips hurt, so I'm gonna stop. But, as you can see, we opened up the sleeping bag and turned it into a canopy. We took one of the pieces of paracord and made four cuts in it yep. and tied off all four corners. So if it were to rain, the rain is gonna run down behind us. And then we use this, <laughs> this gold colored emergency blanket, which I think actually, those are really good for heat. It feels like it. Yeah, it's hot in here. It's really hot under this. Um, but that's good because it gets cold at night. And if uh, it's in the fall or winter or even spring, I know in the Pacific Northwest, it's pretty chilly out. Definitely. So. If you didn't want to use the sleeping bag as this type of shelter, you could use this blanket and then stay in the little sleeping bag underneath it. It'd be a smaller shelter for a single person. Mm -hmm. um, if there was two people, I think we'd do this. If we had to get all the elements, <coughs> we can lower it, uh, the paracord on the, on the branches to drop the canopy down uh, if we wanted a little more privacy or you know, if it did start raining really hard. Uh, we also, in here, we've also put a little stick that we found. Well, it's not very little, but it's just a little extra so this doesn't flop up and down. But I mean, or if you were just waiting it out, it's not too bad. If you had a, a little fire going, I think that the heat would bounce off this oh, and come in. It would be really toasty. But it's, it's hot in here already. I could feel the difference compared to outside to in here. Yeah. So, and this is actually in the sun over here, so it's actually getting warm. So it's, you, you can work on your tan. Oh, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Personally, I think I would keep this together and use it in the hammock. Oh yeah. A while back we did a video with some really amazing hammocks from uh, Song Mike's. And uh, I think I would save this as a sleeping bag for inside of that. Um, I prefer to be up off the ground, yeah. but there are many different uses for this. Um, you can kind of do whatever you want with it. That's the cool thing. Um, you can cut it up or keep it whole or take it apart or uh, use it as just the bag or drape it. It's really warm under here. I'm shocked. <laughs> I'm starting to really sweat pretty good. But it's, it's always good to have an emergency blanket where, you know, in your backpack, your car. Um, I read on the news or on the, a newspaper that a lady uh, drove into a ravine and was in her car for seven days. To, no one even knew she was down there. So you never know when something might happen. It's important to have some stuff on hand, guys. These things are not very expensive. They're lightweight. They fit in a bug out bag and everyone in the family should have at least one. So I say two thumbs up for this because you can create whatever you want out of it. And it is reusable. You can just wad it back up, fold it up and use it again. This, once it was taken apart, did tear pretty easily, yeah. as you can see. Um, but that's okay. We can use the parts for different things. Um, I just, I think it's really important. We keep trying to remind you guys to not be scared, be prepared and, um, you know, have some stuff on hand. Okay. We care about you guys. We love you guys. And thank you so much for sticking around and supporting us. And we look forward to making another <laughs> video for you soon have a great week take care critty oh don't forget to like comment and subscribe <laughs> take care guys Bye.